Hello, Peter Cleland from Bar Crusher Boats. Those of you that have been watching River to Reef over the past few years will have been watching the Bar Crusher 620C catch some fantastic fish as it's travelled all around Australia. Well today we're going to show you another model in the Bar Crusher range, the later 620 which is the 620 hardtop. Fantastic package for coastal and offshore fishing, got quite a few differences from the 620C you've been watching, so today I'm going to run you through some of those differences, tell you all about it. Before I get into the differences between the 620C and the new 620HT, what I'll do is I'll run through some of the standard bar crusher features that you'll see in most of the boats in the bar crusher range, including the, uh, the quick flow water ballast system, the rigid deck, uh, rigid subfloor and tread plate floor, uh, and also the wave slicer uh, smooth hull that cuts beautifully through wind chop. So I'll tell you a little bit about some of those things. If you look around the back of a bar crusher under the engine pod, you'll notice an opening there. That's where the water flows in and out for the quick flow water ballast system. When you uh, stop and pull up, uh, water gurgles into that hull, uh, breathes through the anchor well, uh, reduces the buoyancy of the hull and drops the boat down by a few inches to get the chines into the water and give it greater stability. When you put the throttle down and move forward, the boat flies up onto the plane, the water drains quickly and you're gone. Fantastic thing for stability, allows us to build more V into the hull. So when you're out there on those windy days where the chop comes up, uh, the hull's got plenty of V and will chop through it beautifully. If you look underneath the bar crusher, you'll see our hulls are beautifully smooth. There's no lifting strakes. What this means is with very little chine, not too much flatted area, the boat runs plenty of V and it will land nicely and cut beautifully through chop. It's what we call our wave slicer hull design. Works really well when the wind comes up. If we hop in the boat, I'll explain to you the, what we call our rigid deck subfloor system. The subfloor of a bar crusher boat is a very stiff, strong design and if you're going to build a good aluminium boat that won't fatigue, crack or break over time, what you need to do is you need a super rigid, stiff subfloor. We reckon we've got one of the best in the business. Many of you having watched a River to Reef for a couple of years will be quite familiar with a lot of the typical bar crusher features, but I'll run through them again just as a refresher. Uh, we've got the uh, live bait tank plumbed in the transom of uh, most boats. We've got the uh, removable bait board. You can also replace the plastic. That has a drain that drains down into the burly bucket. We have a folding rear seat. A slide that goes into the step through there to close the step through off. We have the uh, dual battery system in here and the uh, battery isolation switches to run uh, one battery, both, or turn, turn them off and isolate them all together. Uh, we have a deck wash system which is available as an option clear bowl fuel filter under the side deck. Now we've had a bit of a refresher of many of the typical features in a bar crusher boat, now we'll have a look at some of the differences between the new 620HT model and the, uh, the 620C which you're familiar with. The most obvious difference between the new 620HT and the 620C is that the 620C of course comes with a folding windscreen, it's a cuddy cabin configuration. Uh, and it has the gas strut folding roof which pivots down onto the windscreen and also folds for low storage. The difference with the 620HT is it's a fixed top boat, so it's a fixed roof boat, has full height glass, uh, it has a longer cab so the cab comes back a little bit further. Uh, it, what it effectively does is because the cabin runs uh, down the sides of the boat a little bit further it gives you a little bit more protection in rough weather. Um, so people who want to fish in rougher conditions love the hard top configuration. If you look at the helm area in the 620HT, the first thing that hits you is that it's a much larger helm. This is great because it allows you to put larger or more electronics in the dash here. Uh, on the cuddy cabin boat, you haven't quite got the same space. Um, of course, it's got the hydraulic steering standard in this boat. This one's got the, uh, the winch in the uh, anchor well, it's designed to take it. Um, your switch panel down here, uh, your key over here some DC power outlets should you want to charge your phone or, uh, or plug in a spotlight or, a, or an appliance, uh, compass up there. Um, the dash layout uh, is very easy to use, the uh, control falls readily to hand, the seating position uh, is central, uh, good vision out of the boat, works very, very well. Another thing we love to do in our boats is have plenty of handholds. When you're rocking around out there in rough weather, it's great to be able to grab on, plenty of handholds all around the boat, all quite strong and secure. The 620HT allows two to three people to sleep comfortably in the V-berth. We can provide as an option infill cushions which fill in between the bunks and also bunk extensions which are cushions that have little fold down legs that give you a full 2100 bunk. So if there's two or three of you that want to overnight either on the water or on the road, uh, fantastic accommodation there. Something else we can do is we've started building boats with lockable 
uh, cabins. So the people that want to stop, perhaps uh, on their way home from a fishing trip, uh, go in and have a counter meal at the pub, you, know, you can lock the door and your fishing gear is quite secure. One thing you'll immediately notice when you look at the, uh, the roof of the hardtop here is we have a different rocket launcher design. You can store 10 big game rods up there, whereas on the 620 Cuddy, uh, with a smaller roof, you're going to get fewer rods on your roof.